Evaluating Acquired Skills in Communication 3rd Edition ESIC 3 is an inventory of communication skills. It provides assessment items in the areas of prelinguistic skills, semantics, morphology, and pragmatics for students functioning under the language and cognitive level of the average six-year-old. The ESIC 3 was developed for use with children having developmental disabilities and those on the autism spectrum, as well as young to older children with moderate to severe cognitive and language disorders. The ESIC 3 contains an examiner's manual, five levels of inventories including pre-language, receptive 1, expressive 1, receptive 2, and expressive 2, corresponding profiles and goals and objectives for the five levels of inventories, developmental age charts, a stimulus picture book, and picture cards. The examiner needs to gather a variety of common objects and toys to use in the administration of the ESIC-3. The manipulatives in this test include, but are not limited to, two cups, stuffed animals, toothpaste, a toothbrush, a comb, a brush, a tennis ball, colorful blocks, crayons, and a whistle. Case History Karen is a 13-year-old female who has been diagnosed with autism and is currently assessed at the cognitive level of a typically developing 4-year-old. Autism Spectrum Disorder is a developmental disability in which one in every 68 children are affected. Autism Spectrum Disorder can cause significant challenges in the areas of communication, behavioral, and social development, and males are more commonly affected than females. Karen was the product of a healthy pregnancy in which her father reported there were no complications. Karen's mother left the family when Karen was an infant, and the father has been raising Karen on his own ever since. English is the primary language spoken at home. Karen makes limited eye contact and does not initiate any interactions with her peers unless prompted. She exhibits behaviors such as rocking back and forth when seated and repetitive movements of the hand. Karen has limited verbal skills and often becomes frustrated when unable to express her wants and needs. Her frustrations come in the form of hitting and throwing objects. Karen enjoys playing with brightly colored toys, bubbles, and music. It's the start of a new school year and the ESIC-3 is being administered to assess Karen's current communication level as a means to review and establish new goals for her IEP. Test Administration the pre-language inventory assesses skills that emerge prior to meaningful speech. Most of these inventory items assess skills that typically develop between birth and 24 months of age. The examiner should observe the client's verbal responses to environmental stimuli and the child's nonverbal response to a verbal request. The Receptive 1 inventory assesses initial emerging comprehension skills, such as the comprehension of simple noun labels, basic verbs, simple location and prepositional commands, primary adjectives and attributes, and basic questions. Most of these inventory items assess skills that normally develop between 12 and 48 months of age. The Expressive 1 inventory assesses initial emerging expressive skills such as the simple noun labels, basic verbs, simple location indicators, and primary sentence structures through the use of verbalization, signs, picture systems, or other alternative or augmentative communication systems. Most of these inventory items assess skills that normally develop between 12 and 48 months of age. The Receptive 2 inventory assesses more complex comprehension of semantics, morphological, syntactic, and pragmatic functions. Most of these inventory items assess skills that typically develop between 24 and 60 months of age. Karen, I'm going to ask you some questions and I need you to show me the correct picture, okay? Show me the picture of the teacher. Show me the police officer. Show me the doctor. What do you need to make a sandwich? What else do you need to make a sandwich? Okay, Karen, I need you to follow my directions using that block. Put it next to you. 
Can you put the block next to you, Karen? Put it in front of you. Put it in back of you. Can you put that block between you and me? Find the ring is on the finger. Find the spoon is in the cup. Find the boy is in back of the table. Show me the picture of upset. Show me the picture of surprised. Show me the picture of scared. Show me the picture of relaxed. Show me the picture of interested. Show me the picture of hurt. The Expressive 2 inventory assesses more complex expressions of semantic, morphologic, syntactic, and pragmatic functions. Most of these inventory items assess skills that typically develop between 24 and 60 months of age. Okay, Karen, can you tell me the days of the week? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Good job. Can you count to ten for me? I'll help you out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Good job. Karen, can you tell me what he is doing? Walking. What is she doing? E. What are they doing? Hug. Good job. Can you tell me where the book is? Chair. Can you tell me where the ring is? Hand. Can you tell me where the spoon is? The 
the spoon is in coffee. Good job. Here is a spoon. Here are three spoons. Here is a mouse. Here are two mouses. Okay, Karen, can you tell me how this person feels? No? How about we try another one? How does this person feel? How does this person feel? I know you're frustrated, Karen, but we only have a few more questions left. Can you tell me th how this person feels? Sad. Good job. How does this person feel? Sleeping. Last one. How does this person feel? You don't know? Can you at least try? Happy. Good job. You did a great job today, Karen. Scoring. The students' responses are evaluated during the assessment using six categories of performance. The examiner circles the initial letter representing the student's level of performance on each assessment item. S for spontaneous, C for cued, I for imitated, M for manipulated, NR for no response or non-compliant, W for wrong, which indicates an inappropriate response and the examiner may wish to note the response in addition to circling the W. If the student requires a cue, the examiner may wish to annotate the type of cue used by writing the corresponding number 1 through 7 as indicated in the following list. 1. Sign. 2. Verbalization. 3. Physical gesture. 4. Phonemic sound. 5. Oral articulator placement. 6. Open-ended sentence. Or 7. Other which the examiner specifies. After evaluating the student's performance using the six performance levels, the examiner can indicate whether the skill is accomplished by inserting an X in the box to the left of the inventory item, emerging by inserting a slash in the box to the left of the inventory item, or not yet developed by leaving the box to the left of the inventory item blank. For a skill to be considered accomplished, the majority of the student's responses are spontaneous. For a skill to be considered emerging, the majority of the student's responses are cued. And for a skill to be considered undeveloped, the majority of the students' responses are imitated or manipulated. The five profiles correspond to the five inventories. Once the examiner has scored an inventory, the information on skill accomplishment levels is transferred to the corresponding profile. These profiles are designed so that a student's performance for five years or five consecutive assessments can be recorded and monitored. Developmental age charts. These charts reorganize all skills according to the age of normal acquisition from the first to the last to develop. The charts provide the examiner with an approximate age range at which a student is functioning and provides another referent for selecting appropriate goals and objectives for the IEP. Goals and Objectives After completing the inventory and corresponding profile, the examiner considers the student's emerging skills and recommends some related goals and performance objectives to the IEP team. The goals and objectives may be used as listed or modified as needed.